and welcome YouTube species 7 here got a few things to do up here in our magic type of room I'm going to first of all as I've been wearing my poor vile sword down to a nub I went out and earned myself some experience so we can hopefully fix it before it's a total loss now, this is the vile sword that I built before and well smite 4 is kind of nice because it means pretty much a one-shot kill Vorpal 2 well off with the head is alright but you really really want um, to be getting the soul stealer like this one has for a vile sword however <laughs> yeah so if I want to just repair this one though no, we're only looking at 26 so I think we'll certainly do that and that way we've still got our looting 3, Vorpal 2, and Soul Stealer 4. So, it's, uh, killed all these darn cows that are wearing that thing down. So nice. That's as new. And I have actually somewhere, somewhere, ah, here we go. Put together a bunch of ingots and built a few spare swords. Uh, other thing I wanted to look at these knowledge fragments now if you're really lucky you'll find villagers that will sell them to you for emeralds and if you're really really lucky the village like the one I have next door there'll be some fool there that'll give you an emerald for four wool okay see I've been stocking up on emeralds they'll only give you seven at a time unfortunately what I don't have is their thaumaturge or whatever you call someone that practices this um, doesn't trade knowledge fragments, unfortunately. So, eh. Um, he trades, I mean, not bad, he trades nitor and elementums for uh, emeralds. So I trade wool for, um, trade wool for emeralds and then trade emeralds for nitor and elementum. But, from chests, you can also find these. In the old versions of Thomcraft, about all these were good for was slamming some research down and hoping that they gave you a bit of arcane knowledge or lost knowledge or forbidden knowledge or whichever one. What they do now when you get nine of them is they give you research notes that you can't get any other way. Um, generally, I don't show what goes on up here in the Thomcraft stuff because it was purposely put together to be secretive. So now we have to take those over to our research table and drop them in there. And of course we'll get an unknown theory and we'll have no idea of anything going on with it and etc etc. So yeah, you know, yeah, we don't think so. What I do know about them is, and I'm not going to sit here and research through it all because that's the part that they're really trying not to give away. But what I do know is, is that for certain types of golems, or at least the accessories for golems, you require um, those research notes, like the visor, which is the one I really want to get. If you put a visor on an iron golem, um, it's the same as having a turtle, a melee turtle. Whatever it kills, you'll get the experience for. So really good for spawners if you don't want to run turtles. Other thing I want to do today, though, is I need to build just a whack of enchanted fabric. So, it's a really simple one. We build it right here. Um, now, I can't remember how many I actually needed, but it's a bunch. So, I've already forgotten. I'm sorry. Oh, look at that. One, two, three, four. I'm just try and stay ahead of my wand. I could put my bigger wand in, but this is fine. Oh, we ran out of wool. That's not going to be nearly enough, so. Not nearly. Nineteen? No. I'm basically building an entire suit out of enchanted cloth. So, um, reason being, I'm going to build the thaumaturge robes, leggings, boots, etc., etc. So, 
Uh, I'm thinking this is probably enough. Yeah. Okay. And pull the string. Okay. Now... Uh, it used to... See, my wand is sucking this out of the environment. Okay. <laughs> that ain't where I need to be. So now, what we want is these. Okay. Oh, it's made on the work table as well. Alright, so... That's the first one we want to build. And that's pretty familiar, because that's your standard chest armor. Takes 50 Vs. Oh, 48 Vs. Ah, right. Okay. Now, what we're going to do is immediately put this on. There we go. And then we'll move on to the next piece. Which should still... There we go. Now it's only 47 Vs. You get 5% off of what Vs it costs for each piece of this gear that you have. So... And I believe that not only once you've got it and put it on, but as you build it, it counts. So, pretty cool. And I think there's a hood. No. <laughs> I was hoping. Come on. Oh, there we go. Boots. All the way down to 36 Vs. Okay. Now, with our goggles, look at that. Yahoo. And things will cost considerably less Vs for us now. So... Next thing I want to do is I've been saying and saying that I'm getting really tired of having to pick wheat. However, I have no bricks, so I'm an idiot. But, uh, what else should we try then? A little early for these guys, so I am going to need a couple of these. These are courtesy of the villager. I didn't actually have to pollute my own environment. But I do need bricks. Because I need a couple of fine upstanding workers for... My cat is bothering me. I believe he wants out. I believe he's purposely being a joik just because. So, up we go. It's the old one. As I said before, I have two Manx cats, so wonderful critters that they are, psychotic murdering little beasties, but they do get a bit nuisancey sometimes. Now, do I need to build? Why oh, don't I remember this? I'm just, oh, I tell you, what a day, what a day, what a day, here we go. It's smarter to find one perceptive. No, I think I actually want to build a smart one. Okay, it's a fire shard. Okay. So... Deceptive, speed, intelligence, and strength. I don't think I actually need... Um, but yeah, it's going to be the straw guy that I want. Okay, anyway, um, bricks. I did bring bricks. Please, please. Did I? Yeah, okay. Now, they're really easy. We got this, 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 this. It's not right. Uh, oh. Okay, sorry. I think we're in the wrong place this time. Three there. We need the great purple table. Ta-da. Okay. Uh-huh. That makes more sense. I was wondering why I couldn't fit enough. Alright, what's going on here? 
forgotten the recipe for the cores. Why is this not working? Hmm. Should be this golemancy, shouldn't it? I'm sorry people, I thought I had this all worked out. Pressure plates. And the heck's my golemancy? Magic tallow. Hmm. Bricks. Hmm. Is that not what I have? Oh, are you serious? Really? Yep, I'm serious. That'll give us our golem animation core. All we need is some motus and some imperatio. Alright. So, trap doors and levers think would give us what we need if we had them. Uh, do we, do we, do we, do we, do we? Come on. Are you serious? Oh, I'm sorry, folks. I thought I had it more together than this. But we certainly have the materials we need to build things. So, quickly run over here and build. Doors. Lovely. Thank you. And come down. Some levers. All right. Hopefully that'll be enough. How many do we need? Eight and eight. These have one, so I actually need two more of those. Oh no. Yeah, two more of those, and I've got the right amount of these, so. Just quickly whip up another. Oh, see there? That's why I had that many. Okay, here we go. You guys all ready? I don't know why you insist on standing in there. I really freaking don't. And there's one. Nice. Yeah, you better go clean all that stuff up. Now, we're going to do the same thing again. Am I going to have enough wood this time? Oh, damn. I really could have been more prepared for this, couldn't I? Uh, here we go. There we go. Oh, look. I built trapdoors for crap's sake. So, trapdoors. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That's nine, eight. And... Livers. One, two. Mm, that should do it. So all I need to do is build a couple of levers. Beautiful. Boom. Boom. Hmm? Why won't you give me sticks, man? Oh, God. I'm just such a daft ass sometimes, I tell you. Well, let's just build a bunch of levers and get it over with. Okay. So, once again, we want a little closer, eight of these, eight of these, and that should give us our other core. Now, this time we want to throw that core back in, stick beside it one shard of fire. Voila, and all we need is some paper. Paper has 
two, so we need eight. Eight pieces of paper. You guys keeping a good good eye on everything? I hope so. To catch that. Alright. One intelligent animation core. Beautiful. Now, all I need is wheat and wood. And... The type of wood I actually need... Bump up is right here. Great wood. One, two, three, four. And I need wheat, don't I? Let me guess. I don't have any frickin' wheat up here. Hmm. Alright, well... Let's get this guy built first. And, of course, I actually need one more. Don't I? Yeah. I suppose it'd be a lot easier if I just looked these recipes up instead of trying to guess them, but hey. <laughs> uh, if I can't be bad at this, why be anything? Okay, we need some Animus and some Life Force. So, Animus is Soul Sand. Every time. And, do, 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 and Animus we can get from these. Two, we'd need more than that, actually. So, what else have we got that's animus? Any sort of meat will work. Oh, there we go. Copper as well. So, there's our animus. Now, where is our soul sand? Soul sand? Oh, please don't tell me. It's the only thing. Hmm. <laughs> Arcane wood blocks. Okay, well I need wheat anyway, so let's quickly dash downstairs. Grab ourselves a stack of soul sand. Stack of wheat. The bag of gummy bears. Never mind. Okay. Stack the wheat. And back we go. Okay. Soul sand has only one, I believe we need eight. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. And we're good. Okay, dudes, here it comes. Yeah, you ready? Don't just be sitting there screwing around. You guys gotta be ready for this stuff. Yeah, I know you caught the apples and threw them back. I've asked you not to do that, even if it is a good trick. Damn it. One wooden golem worker. Now, with our intelligence one, we're going to do sort of the same thing. But we're going to build... And it takes the same stuff, so a good deal. Um, we're going to build the same thing out of straw. So, going to need us some more of that life force. Seriously low on this. Uh, hmm. Well, that kind of sucks. None of these do, of course. None of these do. Wool? Nope. Eggs? Oh, look. Steaks, of course. I knew there was something else that was really easy that contained it. Uh, four steaks. Oh, only two, actually. Damn, we could have used those the last time. And our... Eight soul sand. Okay. You guys ready to catch more junk? Here we go. Eight soul sand. Two steaks. Straw. 
straw golem. Okay. Yeah, you guys go do your thing. That's it. And we're starting to get a few aspects collected. That one's full. Little that, little that, little that. And amazing. Lovely. So, we've just reached dangerous flux levels. So we're going to stop here. In fact, uh, I'm not even going to go outside until those calm down a little bit. Because dangerous usually means we're going to get everything from random thunder strikes to huge amounts of wisps generating. So, yeah, I think we'll, uh, we'll let it go with that for now. I'm going to put my normal gear back on. Yeah, that's what we'll do. This, this, this. And I think we'll leave that on until we find out if we're going to survive the day or not. So. And, uh, okay. So I don't seem to have my jacket with me. Okay, now. I will store my thumb and clothes away. There we go. Uh, along with the rest of this. Next time, we will set these guys up out in the farm. And I think we will probably build a couple brains and jars. And I'm going to install another iron tank downstairs, I think. So, until then, YouTube, this has been Species 7. I hope you enjoyed the show. And hopefully learned a little bit about the robes and how they work and the different clothing. And we'll look at the purple lightning coming out of that baby now. Wow. Okay, guys. Ciao for now. This has been Species 7. Bye-bye.